Alright guys, I'm extremely excited to film this one for y'all today. We got a brand new swim bait set up, 300 size JDM reel which you've probably never heard of, and also a really nice rod which I'm going to talk about in a minute. But right behind me we have a big lake and I think that it holds some giants so figured what would be a better spot to test out some giant swim baits than a pond like this one. So excited to film this one as I said, hope you guys enjoy and we're going to go ahead and get started. All right, so we are walking up to this spot. I have a six and a half inch swim bait on here. It is a Beast Coats Baits Creep, which is a decent sized swim bait. Not giant in my opinion, but a big bait for sure. So I'm gonna go ahead, take this rod sock off and uh, really hoping we can get on a big one today. Now this reel retailed for, I think it was, gosh, 200, it was about $200 off Asian portal fishing and it's got some beefy handles on here as you could tell it's called the Shimano Scorpion 300 XG LH the LH means long handle and also I forgot to say that it is a monster drive reel so if you heard of the monster drive before I think the Antares DC comes in a monster drive version so what that means is it is designed to throw bigger baits for bigger fish from my knowledge but this reel is pretty for sure. It's like your uh, JDM Tranks almost, or Corrado 300, you could say. This rod that I have on it is called the Sweet Fishing Big Amigo, and it is a eight foot heavy rod, and I have 25 pound fluorocarbon here, so that's really gonna be geared for those big, big baits. You don't need 25 pound fluorocarbon to throw two ounce baits. I've just bought some really big baits that I plan on throwing soon that are gonna need some of that heavier line, so that's why I have 25 pound fluorocarbon. Kind of a lot to talk about when it comes to this setup like some deep deeper specs on the rod and the reel but i will have a probably more in-depth video later on but this video is really geared toward just fishing with this new setup hopefully catching something on it that's what our goal is here so don't want to bore you all out too much in this video big fish solid one here crushed it out deep this be our first fish we can get him in down get in here there we go what a stud that is a meatball of a fish on this brand new setup take a look at that fish just swallowed that beast coast creep it is down there uh probably about a three pounder i give it Let's pop this hook out. Don't want to keep him out any longer. Go ahead and walk him down. There he goes. Well, that is our first fish on the brand new setup. Held up really well. I didn't expect that kind of bite. I already cast it a few times down the bank, as you could tell. And then it was just that deeper water where I caught that fish. Let the bait sink and I got crushed. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can catch some more. Hope you guys enjoy. creep this thing in oh my gosh whoa whoa my that fish destroyed the creep right at the end number two on our brand new setup and the creep as you can tell just an absolute meatball of a fish probably another three pounder or so
So it is day two. In reality, it's like a month later because I haven't been able to get out again. But I promise we're going to finish off the video today. I'm hoping we can catch a few fish on treble hook baits instead of just soft baits like I did last time. We're going to start off with a bull gill and probably switch to a glide bait. We'll see how it goes. But like I said, I want to catch something on a treble hook bait. So we're going to see how we do. We're going to get moving and we'll see y'all at the spot. Give y'all one look again at this bait. I'll tell you what, we're going to see if we can get on a bite on this thing. We're just gonna work our way down the bank again. See if we can get like a blow up maybe going. Cause as I said earlier in the video, it is like a month later. These fish have probably already spawned by now. So they're, they should be up shallow, hopefully feeding. So we're gonna have to see what these fish are up to. right there at the bank. Oh my goodness. There we go. Hooked them kind of weird. There's a good fish. Ate it right at the bank. It was almost in. And he decided he wanted to take a bite out of it. Send him back here. There he goes. Oh my God, other end of the pond. They are jumping out of the water. There we go. Is he still on? Yeah, he's on there. There we go. Goodness, he's fighting so hard. Come on in here. There we go. Another fish. Solid one right there. All right, he's off the hook. Awesome back. Straight off. I'm right there. I'm right where they're doing stuff. And I'm on. There's one. Oh my gosh. Let's not jump again. Still hasn't came off. It looks like a decent fish, about the same size. Oh, don't jump. It's about the same size as the last one. Come on in, dude. Ooh, it might be bigger. Ooh, it might be bigger. No, he's fighting so hard. Oh, there's a big one behind him. There's a big one following him. Like a five pounder. No, there's like a whole school of them. Oh my gosh. What is going on in his mouth? I'm not gonna mess with it. And he's off. Let's see if I can cast back in and catch him. I don't know where they went, but they followed that fish in. Oh, there we go, big one. Nope, he's not that big. Oh my goodness, this is digging so hard. Oh my gosh, he might break me off. Stay up. Oh, popped off. I see him right here. He's about the same size. That fish was just moving like uncontrollably. I couldn't really do much there. There's like a concrete wall that goes along here and he started swimming by it. I thought he was gonna break me off, but that bite by itself caught me by surprise and that fish just fought so hard. Let's see if there's another one over here that wants to bite. Oh, yep, there is. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my gosh, don't come off. He's got one hook. I gotta just bring him in. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. That's like a five pounder too. That was probably the worst I could have done in terms of bringing that fish in. I'm so lucky I didn't lose it. He's got one hook, one hook right there in his bottom lip. Absolute meatball of a fish. Got nothing but good things to say about how the reel has done. Now we're gonna send this healthy Florida bass back on her way. 
there she goes. That is, that is awesome. There's another fish sitting right here. I don't know if you can see, but they are still stacked in here and they are hungry. We're gonna keep casting, see if we can catch another big one. So stay tuned. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And it's another good fish. It's another good fish. There's another one behind it. There's another one behind it. Oh my gosh, that one's even bigger. And that's like a six on that sweet big amigo. This fish is a stud. Just crush that whole gill. As you can see here, just a big, big fish. All right, we're gonna send this brute back. It's like a six and a half, seven pounder. There we go. Just a monster. Man, there she goes. So that's gonna bring this video to a close. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll give you all one last look here at this reel. Um, I had a lot of fun getting to break it in the setup today on some good fish. I'll have the links to both the rod and the reel down below in the description. If you guys have any questions on the setup, definitely leave them in the comments. I'd be happy to answer. Also, I'm probably gonna make a separate video on this rod. Um, I got it for like $100. I think it was on sale, but still at retail, it's really affordable, especially when comparing to other swim bait rods in the market, which can be much more expensive. So if you wanna see a video on that, definitely let me know in the comments as well. We're gonna close the video off there. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll catch you on the next one.